So you might wonder now, I'm jumping to uh, construction 16 here, okay? Sorry, construction 17. So construction 17 is for the in center and in circle of a given triangle. Okay, using compass and straight edge again. Okay, now construction 16 or 17 requires construction 1 plus construction 3 all right so in this case we're given a triangle so let's draw a triangle so something like this make it good and big as always at the start so you can learn how to do it so there's my straight edge and there's my triangle okay so step one <clears throat> the given triangle okay now what you're going to do so is the first step mark the angle so pick an angle and mark your angle like so okay so step two mark angle okay and for step three then same as construction one, we're going to bisect the angle. So compass the same way, we're going to bisect the angle. So we're going to get a construction line. This is the bisector of the angle, like so. Okay, so step three, bisect angle as per number one okay so you're bisecting the angle and it doesn't matter which angle it is it can be any angle okay now the next step do the same for either of the other angles okay so i'm going to pick this one again mark the angle one and second okay so step four mark a second angle and five bisect again okay so in this case to bisect we'll go from here true okay now this point here is what we call the in center in center of the triangle okay so in this case now we have the in center okay so that's using construction number one two times okay now, <coughs> now we're looking at construction number three, okay? So, construction number three, so step six, we want construction number three. We have a line and call the line X, Y, line x y plus point and we call the point i point i okay for in circle so in this case here then use the point we have for the and mark below the line like so and using these two points then make your compass a bit bigger 
and this time join down so I'm using a black line to join those from here to here so here that's going to be the radius okay so construction number six and number seven mark the radius okay and with your compass with this as center that's how we find the in circle so that's what we call the in circle so in center first and you're finding the in circle and prior knowledge prior knowledge requires construction one and three so you're bisecting the angle twice and then construction number three to finish it off <laughs> 